This is the third and final battle between Baby Killer and Master Bean in the Use It and Lose It tournament. Carthage versus Arverni. For Arverni, we have Spare Warriors, one on each flank, Levy Free, one on each flank, Levy Free Center, Celtic Warriors. Then we have Chosen Swords, Chosen Swords, Chosen Swords, three Oathsworn. And uh, two Heavy Horse for Skirmishing, Gallic Hunters, Celtic Slingers, and Gallic Hunters. Carthage has a Rush Army, a center consisting of Libyan Infantry and some Knights, and also some Scutari over here that we can't see yet. We have the African War Elephants wisely put off on the sides. Uh, having the elephants off on the sides usually means that they are safer from skirmishers, but in this particular case they are not, because there are skirmishers on each flank and there are also a lot of spears, but Arverni has adopted a double line in this, this particular battle. Double line infantry can be enough to ward off elephants, but you always want to have a unit available to throw precursors, so against Elephant chariot factions going triple line can be safer against uh, against against enemy special units because it's not like your Oathsorn and Chosen Swords are going to have much of a problem against the mainline units of Carthage. Now the mercenary Samnites they do have some decent stats compared to the Chosen Swords, but they do not have shield wall. Shield wall can be a mixed blessing if you have several units in the engagement. The shield wall can start facing the wrong way, but mercenary Samnites, they have a decent charge bonus for being uh, for being a Carthaginian melee unit. Libyan infantry charge bonus of 18, and the Scutari are also down there with the 21 charge bonus. A very high melee defense though, very high melee attack. So the Scutari, great second line infantry. The uh, Sam Knights are also decent second line infantry, but in terms of just eating a charge from Barbarian Swords, they're not really that good. But you can see what the plan of Carthage is here. A massive line of cavalry in the center, ready to strike at the center of Arverni. So what Carthage needs to do is to tie down as many units as possible before sending in the elephants to cause havoc. Now here comes the early cav engagement from Carthage. The Levy Freemen respond, and look at what happens to the Carthaginian cavalry getting murdered by precursors here. They get a charge against the Chosen Swords. The Carthaginian infantry is a bit slow in responding here. So the Oathsorn are actually going to be able to get a charge here, should they want it. Yep, they do get a charge. But this is quite nice for Carthage, just causing chaos and... and, and uh, Tying down a lot of units, removing the very important Levy Freeman. And the cavalry actually manages to get through and get into the Gallic Hunters on both sides, so very, very nicely done there by Carthage. Now the most dangerous skirmishers are off the field. And here come the elephants into the gap where there are no free units. If the elephants would have gone in here, there would have been these free units. But now the elephants are pushing through the chosen swords here. And Carthage has so much cavalry in the back of Arverni, rear charges for days. It doesn't matter f that the Libyan infantry is losing every single engagement here. Because at this point, Carthage has units everywhere. Breaking the Chosen Swords, the mercenary Samnites barely took any damage there. And this is all about the war elephants. The cavalry is being wisely kept near the elephants, able to intercept any unit that comes too close. So they're doing a good job intercepting the Spear Warriors. The Spear Warriors are going to cause a lot of damage to the, Carth uh, to the Carthaginian Cavalry. But they have counter cavalry tactics on, but this importantly means that they are not able to fire and they're not able to charge at the Elephants. And the Elephants breaking Celtic Warriors, now they're running through the Oathsorn, already getting an experienced Chevron here. They're killing so many Oathsorn and now the Libyan Infantry is going to be able to do well against the depleted Oathsorn units. Javelins are coming against the African elephants now, but they haven't lost a single elephant so far. A lot of kills, a lot of very important kills on these uh, on these units, destroying Oathsorn so so quickly. The heavy horse charges in, trying to do some damage here. It seems no, they're actually rear charging this unit. 
but the Oathstorm gets massacred and trampled by the by the elephants cruising back through the Oathstorm here, which means of course that these units can't really follow the elephants once they punch through. But the elephants weren't able to punch through completely, they are starting to drop, but they've made their presence felt on the battlefield. The flanks are overrun. Arverni is losing the center. The elephants are out of control now, but they are out of control in the vicinity of, uh, mostly of Arverni units. And the Chosen Swords coming in here, let's see if they throw precursors. Uh, maybe they were out. Maybe they threw them already. So Carthage is able to send in a lot of units to support here. A lot of Skutari, a lot of Samnites. And this is not looking good for the Arverni center. The even though even if the elephants weren't there, Arverni couldn't deal with this amount of Carthaginian units. The Oathsorn just it says he's, he's in an even combat, but this is this is a slaughter. The elephants actually managed to survive until the very end of the game. Arverni chain routes. Wow, that was that was intense. So very nicely done there. Sacrificing a few cavalry units, uh, essentially using the cavalry like levy free cavalry, and eating precursors, being able to do very well in the follow up with the infantry. But it was all about the African elephants cruising down the line and destroying the oath zone center of of Arverni. Now Arverni brought the maximum amount allowed of infantry, so I mean it, it's. I would have liked to go triple line against uh, against uh, an elephant, but it would still be hard because these none of these infantry units are just going to fold when hit by when hit by chosen swordsmen. They're going to trade reasonably well for a reasonable amount of time, and. All of these cavalry units are going to be able to deplete precursors, they are going to be able to tie down units. And perhaps more importantly, once an elephant starts running through your lines, that's what you have to focus on. Which in turn enables Carthage to get some very good engagements with the rest of the units. Like these kills are all good kills on these infantry units. Whereas the infantry of Arverni um, folded under the cavalry and elephant pressure from Carthage. So anytime you Anytime you just bank on one unit like the African War Elephants to win the battle for you. Because these, these units, although it's very nice for Carthage to be able to have eight mid-tier swords, they will usually not hold up too well to, especially to the Oathsorn. So, very nicely done there by Baby Killer. He took a risk by bringing elephants and it's paid off massively. I forgot to mention it, but of course the map was a hot map, which works to Carthage's advantage. So Baby Killer is going to advance. Thanks for sending me these battles. I had a lot of one, fun uh, watching them. And um, good luck in the rest of the tournament to Baby Killer. Good game to Master Bean. Strength and honor.